am worried about how this kid is gonna turn out. If you watch Gain's six month update and compare it to his behavior in this video, oh Lord, he's gonna be a handful, I think. I think she just sat there quietly the whole time. Hey y'all, welcome back to Katie on the flip side. It is time again for Brooke's update. It is his six month update. Are you six months old already? Half a year. So I'm gonna give you an update on him and also a special announcement in this video about the nursery reveal. So stay tuned. So as far as his size goes, at his doctor appointment a week ago, he was 14 pounds and one ounce and he was 25 and a half inches. So he's second percentile for weight and eighth percentile for height. He also has a 17 and a half inch head. So he is 80th percentile for head. He has got a big head and a little body. So it will all even out eventually, but he is perfectly healthy, growing like he should. We just make little babies. He is currently outgrowing almost all of his three to six month clothes and fitting into six months and some six to nine month clothes right now. He's still kind of in size two diapers. He started wearing a couple of threes here and there, but um, we'll probably be making that transition to size three diapers very soon. His feet are still small, just like Gaines's were. Um, size one shoes are still too big for him, but we just cram on some extra socks and <laughs> shove his feet in there and make it work, don't we? Yeah. As far as medical stuff, the last update I did on him was three months and I think he was still having some issues hey, with reflux and that seems to be completely gone. He'll still spit up from time to time, but just, you know, like normal baby spit up. That all started getting a lot better around 12 weeks. It was like he went from kind of fussy reflux, spitting up all the time baby, to being super happy, a lot happier and fun to be around. Um, then around, hi, he's like, why do you keep talking? Be quiet. Um, around five and a half months, he has gotten a little bit clingier, a little bit fussier, and um, apparently he just wants to stand up right now. So, how about that? You can see he's squirmy. He is quite the squirmy baby. He does not like to just sit still. He's like, why are you just sitting here talking to this camera? This is not what I want to do right now. So, he's going to stand up. He still does occasionally have some gas that is quite stinky. He can clear a room pretty well. Um, and we still do give him gas drops at nap and bedtime, but it doesn't seem to really bother him too much. When he was born, he had two clogged tear ducts. If you remember me talking about that before, in around four weeks, that cleared up. But then it came back in his right eye around two months and stayed clogged until about four, four and a half months. And then it just kind of cleared up and has not had a problem since. So luckily it seems to have been better and we're not gonna have to do anything about that as far as we know, unless it comes back. But at this point, we're looking good. On to his sleep and his routine. Oh, his fun sleep schedule lately. So he was an amazing sleeper up until about three and a half months. At that point, he was sleeping 10, 11, 12 hours every night. And then things changed all of a sudden. He started waking up a lot more frequently, um, having trouble going to sleep, all kinds of crazy stuff. Some nights now, he'll sleep for about nine hours on a good night. Um, more often, it's about six or seven hours. Now, I don't mean total. I mean like the first long stretch. So he'll sleep a total of like 12 to 13 hours, but waking at least once in between that sometimes twice. On a good day, he will wake up to eat around four or 5 a.m. and then he'll just fall right back to sleep, go back to sleep in his crib. He will sometimes wake back up around six or seven and I'll bring him to our bed, feed him again, and he'll go back to sleep till like 7.45, 8, 8.30 sometimes. So that is nice. Um, I don't like the habit of bringing him in our bed, but sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do to get some sleep. He will then stay awake for about two or so hours and then go back to sleep for his first nap. Sometimes that nap is two hours, two and a half hours. Sometimes it's only 45 minutes, you just never know. Then he'll stay awake again for about two-ish hours again, then another nap. That one's usually about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, just kind of depends on the morning nap. If he's had a short morning nap, he'll take a two hour afternoon nap. And then go to bed around six, between, sometime between 6.45, 7.45. Kind of just depends. If, he, if he's had two short naps, he might take another third nap, but that's pretty rare. So I don't know. It seems like Gaines was taking three naps at this time and not just two. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. He's had a crazy sleep schedule, a crazy past few months. We're trying to get that in check and trying to get him back in a better routine. I think the holidays really messed him up a lot too, being off and late and out and sleeping in random places like bathtubs. He does sleep in his crib without a sleep sack or a swaddle or anything, um, which is kind of what he prefers. And then he sleeps for a nap in his rock and play. So that's what he's been doing so far. 
we're gonna try to cut out the rock replacing. As far as eating, nursing is going very well. Um, we're still full-time nursing. He very rarely gets a bottle. He usually nurses around five to six times in 24 hours, depending on how much he wakes up at night. We did start baby led weaning just a couple days after he turned six months old, and he has been loving that. He's had several foods. His fir very first food was avocado. His second food was, I think, carrots and then banana and then chicken. And today he had peanut butter for the first time. And luckily so far, no reaction to that. So that's great news. It is recommended now that you do try peanut butter and eggs and all the allergy prone foods sooner rather than later to help reduce the possibility of an allergic reaction. He still has zero teeth. Um, he is very drooly. As you can see, he chews on everything. He would sit here and chew on something all day. His six month appointment, the doctor said he sees two teeth like a quarter of a centimeter below the surface. And I was like, okay, well that's a long way those teeth have to go before they come in and they're already seeming to be bothering him. So he seems like he's going to be a rough teether. He's had a low grade fever like, you know, 99.0 to like 99.7. So not technically like a fever, but still just a little bit elevated elevated for like two weeks, um, drooly, trouble sleeping, fussy, all of those things. So we'll see if that's actually from the teeth or I don't know what else it could be from. We did just buy him this amber teething necklace to see how it works, if you can have noticed him wearing that. Um, it does seem to be making a difference so far. Um, he went within 24 hours from being like just kind of cranky, irritable, not smiling very much to the next day we were like, wow, he's a totally different baby. He's smiling, he's laughing again. He um, just doesn't seem as cranky as before. It's definitely reduced the drool. There's a little bit of drool going on, but previously, well, <laughs> while chewing on this toy, he would have his whole shirt covered in drool. So it has seemed to help with that. Um, it did help a little bit with sleep. He did sleep the second night he wore it. He slept 10 and a half hours. I am worried about how this kid is gonna turn out. If you watch Gain's six month update and compare it to his behavior in this video, He's gonna be a handful, I think. I think she just sat there quietly the whole time. He loves standing up. Um, he'll kind of hold on to things if you put him there before he falls over. He's recently started sitting up. We do still have to prop pillows behind him. He's not like completely gonna not ever fall over. He'll sit there for a couple minutes by himself and then he'll get distracted and look at something and fall over. But he sits up fairly well. He grabs everything now. Um, jewelry, faces, his own feet, shoes on his feet. Anything within reach is basically gonna be grabbed. He has been trying to put his, get his passy in his mouth and just over the last week he's gotten really good at that. So that is nice that he's able to do that most of the time, except when he's laying in his bed at night for some reason, he forgets about that ability and won't do it. He started to get upset when we leave the room, like he'll be watching us and then we'll walk out and he'll be like, no, wait, where are you going? So that's something new in the past month. He loves laughing at the dogs, mostly Adabelle. For whatever reason, she is hilarious and he will belly laugh at her. He does have some awesome belly laughs. Gaines makes him laugh, we make him laugh. Sometimes he'll just laugh at us when we just like talk to him. So it's really adorable and sweet how he laughs. He did roll belly to back around three and a half months. There's so much information I feel like in this because I haven't done an update since three months. We'll have to do that better about that next time. Um, but he has not yet rolled back to belly. So he's still working on that. He does hate being on his stomach though. So I don't know when that might happen because he really doesn't care. If you lay him down for tummy time on his stomach within like 10 seconds, he will have flipped over to his back. So who knows when he'll start crawling if he never lays on his belly. He has started recognizing faces and will like take a minute to get used to somebody new. Um, but he does love to smile at everybody. He smiles a lot. He's a very smiley baby. As far as his temperament, he's pretty laid back and chill. Um, I would say he's like a little bit more high maintenance than Gaines. He doesn't like to stay in one place as long as she would. We could sit her down by herself to play with some toys and she would be happy there for like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. After after about 15 or 20 minutes, he's like, okay, get me out of here. I wanna look at something different, um, which is fine. I just think he's gonna be a little bit more active than she is. So we'll be chasing you around before you know it. Did you know that? I can get you. I can get you. <laughs> he does love to be held, um, but he prefers to be facing out, um, being baby worn or just being held walking around the house. He does not like to face into you but that's okay, he just likes to look at everything. Overall, I would say there are a lot of things, whoa, he said, let me just get that. <laughs> there are a lot of things different between him and Gaines, but he is still super sweet, and um, for the most part, he is definitely an easy baby. If we can just get the sleep under control, then that would be good. So I know y'all's burning question, he's six months old. We did Gaines nursery reveal at six months old. When do you wanna do the nursery reveal, buddy? 
We have set ourselves a deadline. We are going to do the nursery reveal next Friday, February 10th. So get ready for that. We set ourselves a deadline so we can get it done. February 10th, the nursery reveal will be up on my channel. Hit that like button if you're excited for the nursery reveal. Y'all leave me comments below and let me know if you have any great suggestions on getting your baby in a better nighttime sleeping routine, getting more sleep at night. Um, Gaines was never a problem, so we haven't had to deal with this too much. We've done several different things with Brooks. We do always try to put him down awake, drowsy but awake, so that he's not being held or rocked to sleep and just a lot of different things, routine, making sure we do that, things the same every night. Um, but any like super miracle tips you have, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here through Brooks's first six months of life. He is over this video, so we are gonna head out, but we will see you in the daily vlogs. Stay tuned, and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye!